Could be back in block press. I kind of feel like there was one more there. What is up? We are back and crap, forgot to do the uh, height measurement before doing something heavy compression on the spine. But regardless, um, I'll probably check it tomorrow morning if I remember to do it. Um, the main goal of the, the deload was accomplished. The lower back feels fully reset and ready to get back to those big compound movements. Log press, as you saw, felt excellent. I mean, Comparable, if not better, to the last time I did that sort of set, which was, I think, two weeks before I started the deload. I did a set with 175, which is what I did today, and I did four reps in a row, and then I did like another two reps. This time we did four in a row with 175, and we did another five reps, and it felt really good. So, I mean, honestly, we didn't lose any strength on the log press. If anything, it got better. That's because I think... My body was in need of the deload and I didn't take too long of a deload. Like if I took another week or two weeks off, I think then I would start to see a, a drop down, you know, because you can you could sort of overreach for a little bit and stay in the safety safety net. But if you overreach for too long, then you get this big crash where your body just says, you know what, hit the reset button here and you lose a, a bunch of strength. So I think we, we timed it perfectly for the log press, at least very happy with that. I'm going to move on to the uh, behind the neck press now. Let's check the weight, see what we got. Hold on, let me flip it around. Another reason with uh, deloads, why you still want to do the movement or some type of pressing movement, 204, let's go. Because if you don't, then when you go back to it, it's going to feel very foreign. Like the log press felt a little weird with the warm-up sets. Um, as you can see, we exceeded the goals. I actually did a set with 185 before that for one rep, and it felt pretty decent. I wasn't going to go heavy, though, because... The heavy one rep stuff is kind of skill based. So if you stop doing it for a little while, you, you'll lose your edge on that. So I knew I knew that wasn't going to be there today, but the 175, I felt like that was weight I could crush. And so we did. Um, so bulk day 66. Hopefully I got the number right there. Find the neck press. We're going to start with 135 and just try and add five pounds each side, each set, and see what we work up to. That was a pretty, pretty good exertion set on the log press. So don't have ridiculous hopes for the behind the neck press. We'll move on to the upright raise and then laterals and rears. Oh. 
possibly just one more set here because rapidly running out of time. But that log press was the big one. I mean, I maintained my behind the neck press with sets of 15 to 20. So I wasn't concerned about that taking too much of a drop. But the log press, I didn't do it at all for two workouts in there. And I'd taken one week off and even one week off previously had 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 disastrous consequences as in the week after it always felt much tougher but i was very consistent for a good period of time increasing the log press and i think actually pushing it um to, to new territory so that's a sign that i use as okay maybe it is a potential time where i could take a deload and actually benefit from it um because if you think about it you're actually taking a mini deload like I'll, I'll take a mini deload on my shoulders until the next time i do shoulder day right i mean i use them on chest but you understand what i'm saying there's always that breakdown and recover period it's just if you push the breakdown really high then you can take a bigger recovery period and still net a good gain so it can get a little tricky i've talked about this beforehand with food and under eating if you're not eating enough calories you're going to kind of always feel like you're overtraining and always need to take a deload and I've done that and I end up this week or the next week because I didn't eat enough food so it's uh it's a balance <laughs> mainly you got to make sure your calories are on point so you can remove that as a factor you know okay my calories are good I don't need to worry about that um as something I have to assess when I'm deciding if it's time to take a deload or not All right probably five, hopefully five, and then uh, on to upright raise. That felt good. A little recovery. We'll get the, on to the upright raise. I want to keep a good pace, so I'm just going to do 95 pounds, see if I can get two sets of 15. Still feeling good after the log press. Now, we knocked out our goal on log press for the year, but I'm going to adjust that goal. I don't know if I put a max for the log press, but I would like to do 220 or 225. So that's a 15 pound increase from where we're at now, which I think is reasonable because I've only recently made the adjustment to pressing from the rack and I have no issue with the clean movement on the log. So, you know, I can build up my shoulder strength fine. If that makes sense. One thing I don't like about using straps just takes a little bit more time to get squared, but it removes grip as a factor, so we'll, uh, we'll survive. I'm just going to wait, stretch out the knees a little bit. Yeah, and the laterals and rears, we'll just do the normal. 30 pounds, 12 on the rears, and then drop set on each. And that's it. On to tomorrow, deadlift day. Hopefully is good. If log press is any indication of how the, DV, the D load overall went, then I think we should be in good shape. Um, we're not going max effort on deadlift, obviously, because that's a bigger movement. So, got to be safe. 
That was good, 10. All right, a little rest, and we'll get those laterals and rears. Ah, all right, it's a, it's a humid one today. It's all good, though. We got it done. Um, laterals, move this out of the way. 30s. Should the mic still on? That's good. We'll do some rears, back to laterals, back to the rears. That's it. Go bed with today. Oh, all right. Smell good. I think I already said this in the video, but for tomorrow, the plan is 425 for 10 on the deadlifts. I feel like that's reasonable. That's like 75 pounds off my best for 10. So. Should be reasonable. Give it a couple seconds. Yeah, this should be doable. And then we'll do some heel elevated front squats. I'm going to get some um, squat shoes, but the ones I tried most recently I did not like. They just had a gigantic heel, which made me taller. So that was cool. But it just, they're also very heavy. So felt weird. Didn't feel like I could shift my feet around at all. Of course, that was when I was doing wider stance squats. So I think now they're going to be doing close stance squats. We might be good. Um, but either way, I didn't, I didn't really like those. So trying to find something of a mid-range. Because my mobility is pretty good. It had like a 1.4. I don't know. It had good ratings. It was reasonably priced. So I figured give it a try. But just too much elevation in the back. For comfort, just saying hi to the little munchkin man. Um, let me get some uh, some of these in real quick. Rear belts. Not sure what I was talking about before. Burn out the shoulders here. Yeah, I can't remember what I was talking about before. Um, anytime I see the little guy, I lose the train of thought. All right, that feels decent. I'm going to get some calories in, decompress. Um, hopefully, if I remember, we'll check the height in the morning tomorrow. But regardless, the deload has come to an end, and we'll be back full, full swing with the uh, deadlifts tomorrow. Oh, I was talking about the squat shoes. Yeah, so I need to find something with... Probably somewhere between an inch, like 0.75 of a lift. 
feel like that should be just enough because my mobility is not terrible. It's, it's pretty decent. So just a little bit, and that's going to keep that lower back flat at the bottom for me if I push the range of motion. If I'm only going down to parallel, then it's no problem, but I want to push that depth because that's where I really have seen good quad gains. So I'll be on the uh, hunt for that. Um, really appreciate the support as always. You made it this far in the video. Drop a comment. Who would win in a fight, Megalodon or Kraken? That reminds me, I need to finish the movie Meg 2 because I believe at the end of that movie there is a Megalodon versus Kraken fight. And I'm assuming that the Meg wins because otherwise there'd be no room for a Meg 3 movie. Um, yeah. So that's it for today. Appreciate the support. We'll see you tomorrow for deadlifts. Um, Drop a comment. Should we do a live video tomorrow? It'll be the first time doing deadlifts in a long time. So maybe we could uh, get the live video going. If I get uh, 10 comments that say I should do the live video, then maybe we'll go for it. All right. Thanks so much. Peace.